Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Huawei Mate 20 Pro. I'm gonna show you how to add multiple languages onto the keyboard and how to switch between them, okay? So right now you can see I have three languages installed, okay? I have Chinese, English, and Korean. So I have it installed, so it doesn't matter where I go. I can go to my uh, email app to write emails. I can go to my text messaging software. I can go to WhatsApp, Vibe, Line, my notes, anywhere where I can pop up a keyboard I'm going to have that option okay so right now i have it in chinese right here and for me to switch it there's korean right here if i want to change it to english it's right here okay so let me show you how to navigate and how to change all of this okay so first thing i want to do is uh, go ahead and open up your settings and then from here what you want to do is scroll all the way down to the very very bottom down here under system tap on system and then we see language and input tap on language and input and now we want to look for right down here, Swift Key Keyboard. If you want to change the, the language of your uh, phone, like mine's in English right now, you can simply just uh, go ahead and tap up here and change it to a different language, okay? Anyways, for the keyboard, tap on Swift Key Keyboard. So tap right there, and now you want to tap on Languages right there, okay? Now, you have a bunch of pre-installed languages on here, so go ahead and simply tap on this, and this is already downloaded installed, so any of these languages that you guys need, just tap it and it's automatically going to show up on the top list. If your language is not in here, what you can do is go to all languages. So tap on that and then find your language and then you're going to have to wait for it to download and install. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's just do an example here. Let me go to pre-installed languages and I'll just add another language in here. Uh, how about this? Um, I'll just add check right here. Okay. So I'll go ahead and add this check right there and now I'll go ahead and click on the uh, check mark and now you can see I have four languages on here Chinese Czech oops Czech English and Korean if I wanted to go ahead and take one off my keyboard I can just simply just go like this okay anyways I have four languages now on my keyboard so anywhere I go that has a keyboard I'll just type right up here and and right down here oops and I go back to my keyboard here and right down here I can press and hold and I can move it. So there's Czech, there's uh, here's current, here's Chinese, Korean, and I can go ahead and move it back. Okay, so there's Korean right there, as you can see. And and I guess this is a C, I guess this is Czech slash English. Anyways, you can see all the languages on here, okay? So if I wanted to go ahead and actually delete a language, like let me go back here. Let me go ahead and delete that uh, check that I just put on there. So I'll go back to system here. I'll go back to language and input. And I'll go back to Swift key keyboard. I'll tap on that back to languages. And then I have this uh, check right here I want to delete. If I want to go ahead and delete delete this, I mean, I, I can uncheck this. It, it just won't show up in my, um, in my keyboard. But if I actually wanted to delete it off this list, first thing is I just go ahead and turn it off. And it says long press to delete. So I'll just press and hold it a little bit. Wait till this pops up. And it says uh, I can go ahead and delete it. Uh, you can re download this language from the list below later again. So I was, was going to go ahead and delete that. And I'll just leave those three languages on there. So that's pretty simple. If you guys have any questions or anything, uh, just let me know. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.